Hey, what's going on? Aramath here uh, with some matches in the ranked set, trying to work towards Demigod. Uh, playing against a very capable Liu Kang this time. It's a very frustrating week. I've played probably 20, uh, 20 to 30 games just between Grandmaster and Demigod. And oh, see if I can do anything with that Liu Kang steal. Probably not, as these uh, matches have uh, led me to change my tactics a little bit with uh, Shang Tsung. Uh, I know I said I wouldn't make another video for a while, but uh, as I got closer to uh, Demigod, or at least stopped getting ranked down uh, below Grandmaster, I, uh, I really started to put the time in and refine my playing style. Uh, it's taught me a lot, but it has been a frustrating, frustrating road. Um, a lot of lag, a lot of st steep competition, and just a lot of evolution in how I played this guy. Okay, so it looks like I took round, two, round one there. Fight. Yeah, this Liu Kang, you'll see he's using, I would say he's using moves that I don't typically see. Particularly that, uh, like, I think it's back one. It's this very fast, short-range strike combo. That's pretty good in certain situations, at least from what I could tell. Now this isn't the toughest Liu Kang that I've faced for sure, but it was one that was a little different than, than others. Now with Shang, I've incorporated the body drop toss uh, way up more often than I have. Um, I get to take the first round. And I have... Um, limited my use of his other like stock combos that I would also typically use on the run up to Grandmaster and uh, so this has you know this is really I would say pared down some of the chaff and some of the matchups uh, where moves were just incredibly unsafe and very easy to, to counter and that move that opener uh, where I you know uh, I think it's back three up four uh, the, the sweep kick into the knee drop is, at this point, the most effective combo opener to the point where I try to protect it a little bit. I try hard not to completely overuse it if I can, uh, just so they don't need to it because it is so darn effective. Uh, the other opener that I like that would get the most damage is his standing three up two, but people duck the hell out of that and <laughs> it doesn't work very well. You'll see this guy uh, will get me in the corner, and I'll do a few. Whenever you see those little uh, sweeps, those poke sweeps, that is panicking. And there are a lot of uh, panic moments. I'm terrible at, at clutch play. Um, I have uh, this terrible uh, habit of dying to slivers of life uh, just because I am frantically trying to, uh, try to, try to take the guy out, which hopefully everybody can relate to. There's my, there's my favorite, and I actually was able to hit, hit him with that, but I could not finish with the, the slide. Now this Liu Kang will get me into the corner and uh, just completely destroy my, my prospects for the game. Counters everything that I do and I can't seem to get out. Um, I will say one of the things that I dislike about uh, Shang Tsung's openers are the up movements you have to do on some of the second combo hits. The, the up for the knee drop, the up for the uh, claw attack that hits low. I always, I find myself doing that too quickly and doing a stupid neutral ju jump which gets like that, horribly, horribly punished. So frustrating, so many games lost because of that and just a, uh, a general, you know, general immunity to my moves. It seems like people have gotten used to, used to, to him and these tactics or they're just simply better at this level. Uh, this guy's totally destroyed me this round. Uh, like I said, not not the best Luke King I've ever played, but as far as combo game, just uh, keeps me keeps keeps me from doing anything. And uh, when I'm playing these matches, especially this where I'm so close to ranking up, I am trying to play very effectively. I go in with some confidence. Hopefully, I'm not sitting there with controller breaking frustration, uh, which means I'm probably only pl only playing games to where I'm losing up to no more than three times 
and there was in this uh, path between Grandmaster and Demigod strings of losses that I hadn't seen before and ended with some pretty pretty frustrating moments. Um, but uh, I'm starting these, these games off usually fresh, and this one's certainly fresh, but almost put to the breaking point. I almost quit uh, knowing that there were so many days left and that it was just I was so tired of losing, you know, winning two, losing one, uh, losing two, winning one. Um, but I finally uh, got past that and changed up some of my tactics, really tried to look, you know, at what I was doing, and it allowed me to perform a little better. You know, see, so this guy may be taking it here. He's got, uh, he's got one match to kill me, um, and I can't, I'm having a hard time breaking through and opening him up. Finally get a crushing blow there, which at, at first it was super easy to get uh, Shang Tsung's crushing blows, but everybody learned to block low, um, or learned to block the karate chop move there, and they became much harder to get. In fact, I've incorporated the uh, the um, forward to uh, four uh, two move, which does the claw up swipe, and since, and since it's safe. Um, more, especially once I've gotten the crushing blow, especially if I have a sense that they know how to block the kick ender to that that gets you a crushing blow. Um, that seems to be more often used, and I can totally see why. That also means it's not as fun. I like pulling off cool stuff. I like doing uh, brutalities and different combos, but you reach a point, especially if you want to play with uh, the more competitive crowd, uh, you have to bend your um, bend your desires more to what is going to be more effective. That does not mean I'm going into, uh, you know, dumb levels of range, range combat, or set around levels of throwing boulders or anything like that, which you could do. That stuff is definitely not fun, kind of a deal breaker for me. But like, there's less experimentation. Now, this guy is, I'm starting to break through here. Um, something else I've noticed, and I don't know if this applies to every character, every character I'm sure it does, but you know, there's a concept of momentum. You start hitting and I take the round. Uh, you, you start hitting and the other person starts blocking, puts you on the offense and unbalances them. And I've noticed there are rounds where people will come in swinging fast and uh, I tend to play a little cautiously, but I notice I've pushed myself to be more offensive in those situations as it pause gives them pause and I definitely uh, recommend it and this is my rank up match will I take it um, oh, I, at this point I'm on a winning streak so I'm feeling pretty hot and it's against an Aaron Black which I don't mind at all I've played plenty of Aaron Blacks and I feel pretty comfortable with his combos and his gameplay at least more so than others uh, but he, that being said he can still be a really strong challenge and this guy does know the combos, knows what to do, but it is fairly standard stuff. I'm not going to see a lot of experimentation from him in this round. Although he's, his corner game is pretty pretty decent, and he's very good with that passive. And I, on this uh, on this path, I have encountered many many Molinas, many Jades, one Cetrion. All of them are supremely frustrating. Um, just because of the arranging and the speed of attacks. I played a, an absolutely dumb, dumb Cetrion that I actually lost to uh, level 30. <laughs> a level 30 one. Um, and it was, it was sad. There was nothing but ranged attacks. Going, going in. Still haven't gotten the combo, the, the corner combo down quite yet. But I am, I am getting in with this uh, Aaron Black with relative ease, which is nice considering the game, the frustrating games. There was one game I played where it pit me up against a very fast ranking Sonya, uh, tossing rings all day long, and uh, they, they got 150 points or something like that, 114 points for winning, and I lost 94 for losing, but only gained 20 for playing them. Obviously a game I didn't want to play, I had no upside in playing, I lost that round. Uh, that was a controller throwing moment for me. This guy going to the Aaron Black, I'm going to hit you with both feet tactic. And that one is pretty easy to block. And also, it's not as tricky as it used to be where they would meter burn it and hit low. I can block that too. And there's the, I'm probably stuck with the, the guns there. Probably going to lose this. Let's see.
Ugh. And my other huge weakness, if you want to hit, get a fail blow off, just play against me, and you'll always be able to get your fail blow off. I seem to uh, always go in aggressively with uh, these characters when they're low on life, and sometimes you get lucky, but most of the times you don't. And this air in black pulled off the fatal, pulled off the fatality, and it was utterly... A really humili humiliating loss, but something that I was not uh, too unaccustomed to. So he's got, I'm saying, was it round, round one, or match, yeah, set one. And he got me good with a few attacks in that one. We'll see if he can repeat that. Now, another word on the fatalities, I know people usually shy away from them, especially in ranked matches, as it prolongs things unnecessarily. Uh, I usually shy away from them, too, out of, you know, general courtesy and respect, unless I need to, I need a little therapy. And that's when I'll pull off fatality when, if the match has been especially hard, the person plays especially, you know, cheap, then I'm going to blow off a little bit of steam, although that's pretty rare, usually only if they do it. Is, is when I'm when I'm doing that, or it's a particularly, you know, trolly match. And that move by Aaron, uh, where he does those three overhead, uh, kind of smell the second one is an overhead, so you never want to block low on it. But it's pretty easy to recognize at this point. I'm sure Aaron Black players are frustrated by everybody getting used to their character. I've also incorporated this throw more because it crushes, I believe, on either roll or counter. Um, but uh, it's one of my switch ups to use that throw a little bit more to try and capture that crushing blow as they're so vital. And obviously, the dropping corpses are were a, a really good tactic to um, utilize. Also, just blocking. Um, yeah, I'd say that, you know, that's, that's, that's not always the case, obviously, but there were many a times when I was getting up or was in a close quarter situation where I would just try to out-attack their attack and it didn't work and it ended up opening me up, you know, finishing blow, crushing blow, um, and, uh, just continuing to attack opened me up, so I've learned to try to block, well, one thing I want to incorporate is the, I think the, the just block with the attack. I'm sure that's really effective. People can use it. It's just hard to pull off. And here's me doing the fatal. He did the fatal. And I did the fatal. Just to show him uh, what's up. <laughs> and we have now down to the wire. He has one and I have one. Will I get to rank up? Uh, anybody's guess. Will I be, be uh, jailed for another week or whatever, whatever time left? Three days in uh, Grandmaster. Will I finally reach uh, Demigod? Takes a while to load. The lag I've noticed is, I, I, I'm, I, you know, it's easy to start pointing fingers and blaming. Oh, it's lag switching. I, I noticed there was a lot more lag. It seems at these levels. I'm not going to, I, you know, if you're if you're losing a lot, you're you're gonna, you know, be you're gonna psych a lot. You're gonna psych yourself out, right? But uh, I don't think there was too much lag switching. Two crushing blows in a row. So hard uh, to get these days, those two. And the fact that I opened the round with two of them has got to be just demoralizing. Although he's not ranking up, and I am. And by the way, to all the people that I lost to, and it was their rank up match, and I was just you know grinding along, I'm totally fine with that. A uh, rank up is hard; it's a hard match to begin with, and certainly had more to gain than I did. A risky roll there. Finding rolls are more and more risky these days. I liberally use the acid. I liberally use the slide. <laughs> no, yeah, there we go. Just block and then block low. Opens it up for a combo. I don't finish because he rolls out of it. Tries to double kick me again. And does not succeed. <laughs> I tried to fail blow. Didn't work on me that time, much to his uh, his disappointment, I'm sure gonna happen. Nope. Down to the wire and I got him. 
enough of this guy. And enough of ranked matches. I'm done with this season. Demigod was enough. I'm not going to go in there and try to go for God. I don't even know if I'm, I'm average, above average, or whatever. I uh, don't care. I'm done with it. Uh, I'll play in the next season, hopefully with a different character. Um, as I, you know, I, I, I set out to accomplish what I wanted to do, and and I did it. So there are the matches. There is my. Uh, we'll see it in a second here. The slow motion starts. Yep, there is my rank up uh, to demigod, and I'm done. Thank you. Have a good one.